This is Code.org, and we're doing the food truck class. The food truck class represents a single food truck that is part of the Project Mercury Pastries food truck business. Getting started, import dessert.java from the backpack. Don't have it, or, oh no, we can do that, dessert.java. Boop, and import. So, complete in the food truck, complete the parameterized constructor. Use the this keyword to initialize the instant variable. Okay, so food truck, parameterized constructor right here, right? Because a parameterized constructor, how do I know this is the constructor? If I head over here, are we making, yep. Here is a food truck object, so that's the data type, Amy food truck, and we ask it to run this food truck and we give it Amy, Amy dessert 5700. Computer says, what's that? Oh, I need to run the food truck class to give this object a value. It goes into here. And then it says, okay, owner was Amy, I believe, Amy, any dessert in 5,700, Amy, any dessert 5,700. And it wants to assign this values. All right. And here we are, owner, new dessert and profit. So you might be tempted, and this is what we've seen several times now, guys, owner, and then new dessert and uh, profit. This is bad though, because the computer doesn't know what we're referencing. So owner, notice right here, this variable has the exact same name as this one, all right? So these are called local. The computer knows that these have values, but they're local variables. We need to tell the computer, hey, for owner now, we don't just want Amy stuck in this method. We don't want it just here. We're trying to get this outside value up here to also be equal to Amy. That's what we want to have happen. We want these instant, these class variables, these object variables to be assigned these values, not just have them passed into here, but never used. And so to tell the computer, we mean the class, we mean the object, the thing above this, that's where this comes into play. This dot lets the computer know, hey, I'm not talking about the stuff right here, not within the method, not right here, but this, the entire thing, this, means these guys and that will let us set the stuff outside of it complete the has greater profit method nope. where's it oh yeah if uh if the result of a call to add bonus with the current object uses this use an l if else statement to check if the result of add bonus wow that's confusing use an if okay so i'm going to start there if Curly brace, and then I'm going to go down here, just getting structure, else. Okay, use an if-else statement to check, what am I checking, if the result of add bonus, where's add bonus? Add bonus, okay. Oh, I see. Truck, profit. Oh, get profit is just returning the profit that we have. Okay, so let's see here. To check if the result of add bonus. Okay, so wow, they did. I hate how they did this, but that's fine. We're going to call add bonus. All right, and now what are we going to use? They want us to put in the truck. We're within the food truck class. So really, we're calling this on ourselves. Well, this will reference the entire class. That will allow us to call it on ourselves. That's the food truck. The current class is food truck, and we want to call the add bonus because we're going to calculate if we need a bonus, but we need to tell it what object, and that is the this keyword, is greater than the result of add bonus with the other truck. Ooh. Oh, and look. Wow, I'm not liking how they're doing this. We now have access to the other truck. So if add bonus this is greater than... Ooh, guys. Other is greater than the other truck's bonus, and we have access to that object right here. They have to pass it in. So this means our current object, this is the value that gets passed in. If it is greater than the result of add bonus with that. If the result of call up with current uses return true. Oh, okay, well then return true. Otherwise return false. Interesting, we could use this else. That should do it though. This is tricky. Let's give this a shot. Ah, so many this is. Did Amy's food truck have greater than 
Sarah is true. That is looking awesome. I am always going to forget, so I'm going to go ahead and hit commit. Committed on Word. So tricky, actually. Let me just double check. That's all tidy. Cool. Onward. 